Montana's news leader, this is the MTN New News. Good afternoon. Thanks for joining us on the new news. I'm Andrea Lutz. The numbers are in and come to find out beer sales at a Montana college football stadium are raking in hundreds of thousands of dollars. We're learning more about that story in just a minute. But first. COVID vaccines could be approved for kids five and younger within just a couple of weeks. The new CDC documents have rolled out and that could start as soon as February 21st. According to that organization, the Food and Drug Administration advisors will then meet early next week to discuss whether they'll recommend authorization of that COVID-19 vaccine. Russia and Ukrainian officials will meet today to try and end military tensions along the border of two countries. The talks will happen in Berlin and will be mediated by Germany and France. The French president says today's talks should provide clarification of what's possible. Russia has more than 100,000 troops along the border with Ukraine, and the Biden administration believes the invasion could happen at any time. Burlington Northern Santa Fe says it expects Montana Rail Link will continue operating for several more months before ending its lease to haul freight. That word came as representatives of both railroads briefed members of the Big Sky Passenger Rail Authority on the operational transfer that was announced just last month. MRL is ending operations after leasing the BNSF lines for 35 years. Officials did tell the Passenger Rail Authority leaders that those with MRL will continue operations until it can work out some of those final details. Plans are in the work to repair and maintain Pompeii's pillar. And officials do want your input Put, visible cracks are forming in the monument and some of those are 2,000 year old initials carved into the rock that are beginning to fade. They want long bolts driven into parts of the pillar to keep it secure and on top of that a water mitigation system could keep the elements from impacting that sandstone. A proposal from the Bureau of Land Management for public comment is coming out very soon. And that's today's leading look. Well, we're going to go ahead and start things off looking at the latest drought monitor that just came out. For the most part, there's been no change across the region. It hasn't gotten any better, hadn't gotten any worse, except down near uh, Stillwater, Carbon County, Yellowstone County. It has uh, gotten just a little bit worse where we've seen uh, some extreme conditions come into play and down there near south of Broadus. So we could really use some moisture. We do have moisture in the forecast. Where's it going to hit? Now, we're warmer uh, than normal today. Most of us going to stay dry, although we could see some rain off, uh, especially eastern portions of Montana. But here comes that cold front coming in from the northeast. That's going to cool us down tomorrow. It's going to have some uh, uh, moisture associated with it. Will we see enough, though, to help with those drought conditions? A lot of details coming up. At college football games, the beer is always flowing. But for the first time, the University of Montana was permitted to sell and serve alcohol at sporting events, which began earlier this school year. Thanks to the passage of SB 247 during Montana's most recent legislative session, UM implemented a beer garden this football season that was attached to Washington Grizzly Stadium, and it was met with early success. According to public records, UM grossed $133,141 in total alcohol sales in Montana's six regular season home football games. Due to a catering contract, the Badlander received $78,960 as part of their split. UM Athletics received $35,541, which also includes the Grizzly Scholarship Association and $18,639 goes back to UM Dining. For athletics and dining, that money is all net revenue. Senior Associate Athletic Director and Chief Financial Officer Ryan Martin said this first year was a learning year for the university. We didn't find out that it was a go until I think August, so it was really kind of late in the game. Um, so I think what we wanted to do is use this year as kind of a trial run and really have no expectations. It's a new revenue stream, so 
we weren't relying on it, but uh, how do we take that and be safe and responsible and do it right so that we increase that the fan experience, but then also do it in kind of a safe way and do it right. And it's not being used for just football, as UM has had a beer garden at men's and women's basketball games in Dahlberg Arena this year as well. As the first year trials go forward, it's about finding ways to grow the beer garden to enhance fan experience while also staying safe and growing that revenue. Anytime you do something like this, you have a good experience, you create new revenue i think it's probably a natural progression to start talking about how do you do that in different ways and different areas so i think those those conversations will happen in the off season just to see like where this goes i think it was well received but now it's now that we do have a year in our belts and some time how do we take that and uh, continue to go with it reporting in missoula kyle hansen mtn sports